Now, if you beat the game with an A ending, if you go down here to your pamphlet, uh, you'll find this thing called Secrets. Now, if you go in here with a fresh face, fresh file, nothing going on, this is going to be question marks. So let's see what this is. Okay, so here you have like a little track list. So you got Scissor Man. Then you got the reprise. This is like when you're walking around in a building. And there's that creepy fucking kid song. Pretty creepy. And there's the end music. Now this is a little funny thing. The, the guy that voiced Gots. Check this out. Appearing a while back. They must be the ghosts of children who were killed here. They started appearing. How's it going? <clears throat> I wonder how many days we've been trapped down here. <laughs> Uh, cool. Uh, I don't know. You know, there's so much like bitch and wimp and weak, and I don't know if I'd be putting up with all that garbage for no female. Like, come on now. Uh, this is cool. This is the pictures, uh, the scenes, and everything that you go through, all the various locales and whatnot. And these are the concept sketches. This is definitely something you want to work for getting that A ending. Because these are cool to look at. I uh, see there, there's fucking Barrow's Castle right there. Beautiful. See inside building. See you got the University Research Building. And that sound gets really annoying as you're clicking through these. I mean, come on. And a little click would have sufficed. Not this. Now there's that storage room. Alright, so this is the upstairs, there's that lobby thing, there's that office, there's the bathroom where we found Rose. Now in Helen's scenario, when Rose gets killed, she's usually found on that bed, uh, that therapy bed. Uh, so yeah, for Jennifer, she was found in that bathroom stall and it was totally cool. Uh, so there's that computer lab. And here is the women's lounge and rest area. And there's upstairs, and there's the escape ladder. Here's Rick's house. This is pretty cool. This is one of my favorites to look at. It looks all 70s. Like, it's fucking cool. I'd live here. Alright, pretty cool kitchen. There's that creepy back hallway, and, yep, there's that upstairs. Okay, there's this funky looking shower. I don't know what the hell's up with that. And then he's got what appears to be a sink. All right, there's a storage and laundry area, uh, his bedroom. And then there's that little room uh, that was off the side, kind of serves as his living room. And here's the library. Now, we didn't see this on this playthrough. But, of course, you could always check out the first one if you were curious about the library layout and how it evolved from these concept sketches. All right, so here's the upstairs of the library and the stairs leading up to it. Here's Sullivan's office. This is his collection room. And there's a little room leading out there, and this is where Sullivan met his untimely demise. And then here's the mansion. Now, this is pretty fucking cool, too. So here's the front lobby. You didn't see that on this playthrough either. Uh, that's where Helen starts hers out when you play as her. Here's the lobby. Uh, this looks like one of the various hallways, probably the first floor. And there's that room that we had found Helen in. Huh. 
So yeah, uh, in case you're wondering, that does work. Uh, there is a door that leads out into the moat. Uh, you can hang off of it and Scissor Man will go tumbling right into the moat and then you can close it up behind you at the cost of health. So if you're a white, you'll go to orange. If you're orange, you'll go to red. And if you're red, you're probably going to fall off. I've never been stupid enough to try it on red. And there's that kitchen. And here's the little storage room area. And there's the gate. Yeah, right there. And then here's that one sitting room with all the portraits in it. And there's the room with the uh, the book clearly under the blanket. And that leads up to the second floor. And here's that master bedroom. And here's that study uh, that we were in with the fireplace. Uh, that looks like upstairs to me. And there's the upstairs little lounge area. And there's the library with the movie bookshelf. And then there's the secret passageways, and luckily we picked the right one in this playthrough. Only died once, so... Ooh! Yeah, it looks like there's a half-rotted child corpse hanging on the wall right there, but this is the torture room that we found Nolan in, uh, or Gots, depending if you're playing as Helen. And then there's that outdoor balcony area, which is pretty cool. I totally want something like this for my own house. That'd be badass. And then we got here upstairs, and there's the wine cellar. Uh, fun fact, uh, if you're playing as, I think it's either Jennifer or Helen, or either one of them, 50-50 I mean, chance, right? Um, you will find Beth stuffed into one of these barrels, and blood will come out when you turn that spigot, and that's pretty fucking crazy. And there's the hallway leading to the door, and there's the uh, altar area where we scored that dagger. And that looks like a crawl space. It's too dark to tell. And there's the door leading to the final area. And there is the final area. Okay, there's that little uh, library that was off of the priest area. And there's the hallway connecting them all. And there's the chapel. And there's that torture room. Yeah, you see that sketch right there? That's supposed to be Gots uh, that you're seeing laying on the floor. And that blood in that roller machine is also be where Gots would be winding up if you ran in there with Scissor Man after you. Okay, here's something cool. These are the pictures. Uh, this is more concept art for the characters. Uh, you see Jennifer right here. Uh, there she is, rocking schoolgirl shit. And then you got Helen. Alright, and that end one right there, I'm pretty sure factors into one of the endings, but I'll be posting that up on the on my final uh, pay, uh, part of Clock Tower on my LP. I'll make sure to link up all the endings for Clock Tower in my usual form. I'll make sure to keep you folks up to date. Ooh, uh, got power suits. She looks scary like that. Okay, here's Nolan. And there's Gots. Professor Barton, douchebag, <laughs> the fucking ass got. That shout out to John Necro man, and then uh, Edward, and then uh, Sandra. Now I don't remember bumping into Sandra, but I'm pretty sure she's one of the disposable characters. Sullivan, Kay, Harris, Beth, Danny. Okay, here's Baker and Rose, the two lovers, end up getting killed. And there's Gardman, but he doesn't look like Hitler right there. Uh, announcer, cameraman, so these two appeared at the end, I believe. Couldn't get a good enough look at them. Rescue Party and Tim fucking smiling at each other. Rick going, hey, damn kids. And there's the ghost of those dead kids. And Scissor Man, look at that. Flop. That's cool. And that's it. Well... I want to say thank you folks for checking out my Clock Tower LP with Jennifer this time around. It's been a blast. Well, you know, this has been Lumps the Clown. i got plenty more projects heading your way, so stay tuned and Lumps the Clown out.